Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, now between the last episode and this one, I tried experimenting with the graphics settings to see if with recent graphics drivers updates, I was able to put it up to fantastic view rather than just the potato view that it's currently on. Unfortunately, uh, while it does generally hit 40 frames per second on my computer uh there are times when it drops down to 17 and it just makes it unwatchable so we're going to keep it on potato settings for now but please bear in mind the game does look a lot better than what you see here this is just on the lowest setting that it allows at the moment i mean there's only two options potato and fantastic right so where are we we are getting resources so that we can build a radar station uh, the next one I want to build is going to be over here at uh, Elpis. Uh, that's one of our Phoenix bases. Uh, knowing that we've got two already, one here and one here, and we've cleaned out quite a large number of alien bases in the area, I want to try and get our coverage up significantly. So we're getting 25 materials every time a day ticks around for us. We've got food coming out of our ears, but we can't really do anything with that. And uh, as soon as we hit 200... Ooh. we'll, uh, yeah, uh, build another one. Or we'll have a haven attack underway. So, Surabaya 2.0 is under attack. I think we should probably go and help them out. What do you think? We're going to get some more resources for this. Uh, defending strength 12, attacking strength 8. That's fine. We're going to clear most of it with explosives, I'm sure. Now, I could leave the haven until it's in more dire straits and then kind of come in and save the day and get more resources that way. But I'm more of a man to try and keep them alive. I think it'll like garner better relations thematically, even if it doesn't actually make that much difference in the actual game. Right, so we can't see anything, but it's, this is a small map. This is quite a small map. Let's let's get someone up high, and we'll see what we can see. Yeah, I think up here is going to be ideal. Partly because of the extra willpower, but uh, hmm, still nothing. All right, let's uh, put someone over this way. Ah, uh, yeah, we can we can get in even further. Now, the difficulty of jumping so far is if there's head crabs, mine fraggers over here, we could run into difficulty with that. All right, we have our first guys spotted, and they actually have guns. So, how do we want to deal with these? From here we can sort of see it's going to be a long range sniper shot. I think probably getting getting forwards is going to be better for us. So we're in a position to attack properly next turn. They do have the height advantage. But I'm happy enough with that as long as we've got a plan for what we want to do. I think the plan is partly just going to be... Oh, actually, we could, we could charge you all the way forwards. And then use exertion to get right in here. Yeah, hide in there. Over this side, tuck yourself in there. Now, of course, explosives could work in our favour for the guys that we can see. I might even be able to get a missile straight on him, actually. If we do it like... Stand sort of in the open. I don't mind standing in the open. We've got enough armour. Oh, look at this. What a welcoming committee. They've got grenade launchers, so we do need to watch out when we put people up high, but... They need to watch out when they put people up high as well, because we're just going to do that. Just a little scorch mark where he ended up landing. I think that's a, an acceptable turn of events. Right, we want to dive you into cover over here. 
You're not going to be able to use that grenade launcher this turn. And finally, uh, let's bring you up to here. All right, let's uh, let's see what the aliens bring us. All right, we've got a dude at the back that we didn't see before. He's just hopped down. We don't really know about him anymore. Yeah, sensible, mate. Get yourself down on the ground where it's safer. Although you've kind of stood in a terrible place. Are you going to grenade us or what? Enemy spotted. He's going to step one across and then he's just going to snipe. Or I could even just run in and shotgun him. Alright. So there is quite a few for... Ooh, hello. Problem. Well, not a terrible return fire. Uh, right, so we need to deal with this guy. How do we want to do that? Maybe with this. Might just be able to get a shot on him. It's going to be touch and go. You know what? I'm annoyed that he actually shot at us. So let's let's make sure that he's obliterated. You might call this overkill. I call this revenge. Right. So you're next. If we step across to here, that is a straight line. Deadly duo. So if we go for his arm, he won't be able to return fire on us. Or he won't be able to live. Um, is there no other targets for this? It might be that there's no other targets that we can utilise. Alright. I guess uh, that's that done. It only counted as one shot. Now from up here, we can get a straight shot on this guy. Can't quite do it with the big gun. Can do it with a grenade though. And we know how I love grenades. Now, this could go horribly wrong. We could end up hitting the roof above us. I think it's going to be fine. So, fingers crossed. Alright, so he's managed some return fire, but he's going to bleed out. Yeah, there's no way he's going to survive that. Alright. So, we have... This guy at the back, this guy hiding, and that guy who's bleeding out. Where do we want to move you that's going to be useful? Maybe actually over here so we can check the side. Like this guy. Alright. Exertion. Center mass. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. In terms of where to go next, let's bring you across here. Now they do have grenade launchers, so I am a little bit cautious of where we're positioning ourselves. No one too close to each other, and hopefully no one up high. Speaking of no one up high, maybe it's time we brought you down. Uh, yeah, we can we can jump you over to here.
Now the line of sight, of course, is a little bit skewy. Uh, it does uh, it does suffer occasionally from uh, not knowing where buildings are. That works in your favour sometimes. It also works against you. Uh, so for for the stage in development of the games at, I think it's pretty balanced. Uh, that will do for this turn. There's another one. Alright, well we'll get some kind of explosive in there with him. Could have been nasty. Could have been nasty. Join New Jericho. Yeah, because they totally, totally don't get attacked. Now, where was that from? Okay, so things that we have to do. We need to blow this guy up over here. Are you in a position to do that? Maybe. If we stepped here, we might be able to get a missile in on him. Mm, actually, that's a terrible place to do a missile from. All right, we're going to missile somewhere else. Yeah, that's that's just going to go straight through. Straight through this thing that we're next to. Ah, it was over there that that guy was. Uh, maybe we could, like, try and open up this wall. Alright, we'll give that a go. And the wall is intact. I mean, we stripped off the outer cover from it, but uh, that wasn't particularly effective. Right, let's step across here. I'm going to get a grenade down the side of this guy. Just like that. Tiny bits of return fire. We're not that worried about them from where they are. I think we're going to get you to take care of your friend here. Uh, let's change you to shotgun, actually. He doesn't have enough health to really worry about that not killing him. Ugh, gooey head, gooey head. Uh, what else could we do? We could probably push through here. Hmm, maybe not quite. If we had a little bit more willpower. Oh, actually. Yeah, this could work. So, our engineer can do a uh, rally to give us back our willpower points. So if we hop through like this, and then get you to rally the troops, that will allow us plus five willpower to do another exertion. And this is why Soldiers are so dangerous. Because you can just storm across the battlefield and take people out without even really thinking about it. Uh, you may as well step down now. Good, good, good. And over here, step on in. Now we know that there's still someone round the back. Uh, you'll find where you are. Uh, I think we we bring you to this corner for now. And we're going to jump you. 
over to here. Get nice and close. In fact, you may as well step round. That still counts as cover, even though it doesn't show it as cover. And let's see what crab men are left alive. Oh, oh, hello. That's not good. We're going to kill him. But we are in quite a lot of danger here. Is he having a shower? He looks like he's having a shower. Alright, so we really need to get some healing on this guy. You've got a med kit. So he can step close enough that we'll be able to get the, the medic stuff on. With willpower as well, we'll be able to take a shot. So he's dead. Run to here. Exertion. Run to here. Exertion, run to here. Get some healing, please, on the soldier. It's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Totally not fine. Right. And now we can think about what we're going to do with this guy. Probably something like this not massively effective we need someone else to step in on this so if we step across to the side we'll be able to get another grenade in through that doorway Obliterated. Okay. Run to the end. Take a peek. Nothing. Run round. Still nothing. Uh, you've got enough... Yeah. Let's... You've got enough movement for us to get close, but not really do anything once you're close. Oh, actually, that's a good place. Go there. Let's hope they don't hit you with a grenade or anything. As far as the engineer goes, you can step into cover over here. And down this side get some flanking going and I think that's it done for this turn there's the one on the end okay little bit of grenade damage not really that much of a problem uh, this guy is gonna get obliterated and I'm not joking when I say that. I mean, he's gonna get completely mullered. In the face, in the body, in the body. Too much? Nah. Okay, so the question is, where is the last guy? Or the last guys, if there's more than one.
Hmm. Still no sign of them. I mean, in close quarters combat, we could end up losing someone just because the bad guys are hard to find. Right, well, we may as well have a little bit of cover at least. Over this side, I think, uh, run to here. No, nope, run to here. Hmm. All right, well, for the moment, let's, let's get some height so we can get some visibility. They might be down one of the pits, actually. Okay, you're not in a great shape, mate. Let's, uh, let's keep you back as much as we can, as much as is realistic. And we'll keep a friend with you. Stand in front, please. There we go. It won't help if they fling a grenade at us, but uh, it'll make me feel a little bit better. And yeah, we'll get you to... Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. How are we going to hit him? Maybe by backing up and then doing a rocket just on the edge or something? This is probably not a great idea. It's also not my worst idea. Now, I want to make sure that I don't hit my engineer downstairs. That should be fine. But these things might have larger radius or radii. Right, I think that's it for this turn. He's dead. And that is the last one. Okay, so we got some more resources, and that's definitely what we needed. Uh, we've also found the alien base that attacked here. Now, it's almost certainly out of uh, radius for these two, which is why we wanted to get the new um, radar station at Elpis. That should hopefully pick up on them. Uh, but we're not going to assault this this turn. Uh, we will get that next, uh, next episode. Uh, we will at least fly across to it, though. Uh, thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy these episodes. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to be dropping the frequency down to one per week uh, just because the new Diablo season is starting. And uh, until we get back a build four, we're going to have much the same as we've seen with these episodes up until now. If you are liking these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, then please let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so and you'll be told when the future episodes go live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Phoenix Point. See you soon.